here's the topic, airport horror stories. We're going to Peru, right? And of course, this is in our younger days, no, no kids, no responsibilities, and you know, party on. We get the tickets, and the ticket's like, oh yeah, leaves at 12.05. Okay, I don't even know how we missed this, but it was 12.05, but somehow we, we screwed the days up, so we showed up a day late. Oh. <laughs> that pole trip was show but let's put it this way lots of alcohol involved in all of those decision making processes and yeah got to the airport bombed yeah we, we took the uber like i've said i i have a half gallon uh, yeti container right the last time i flew up to washington I, I showed up to the airport with it not thinking it was full like you gotta pour that out but i can keep my container yeah i'm like this is a stainless steel container I like know. i could do more damage with this empty than with a half gallon of water. So I had to pour it out, which I stared at the guy as I poured it out into the trash can. Yep. And then once I walked past him, I, I got to fill it up at the water fountain. Yeah, yeah, that's the trick, man. Yeah, but now I'm like, so your issue was the water inside, not the fact that I have this three pound metal container that yes. I could do way more damage with. Yes. Yeah, listen, it, it makes too much sense, Jake. They make, exactly. It makes too much sense. I've flown with steel toes on, steel toe boots. Okay. I could do more damage with steel toe boots than a bottle of water. Let's put it this way. If you want to be crafty enough and be one of those idiot people that like to do chaos. I'm sure that you can spend a lot of time figuring out all sorts of ways to break through security systems and blah, 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 blah. TSA, you know, they're they're brilliant. Oh, rocket scientists, those guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rocket scientists. <laughs> I have to talk about this Peru trip. It's, just, it's triggering all these little fun memories. So get there, have a great time in Peru, do all the fun things, come back, and wherever we're leaving from, however we booked this flight, like there was only like an hour between the next flight, mm -hmm. you know? And they said, okay, well, we know you're coming, so we're gonna do this and pass you along, and that way you can bypass security. And I'm like, okay, great, thanks. You know, they called ahead and said we're coming. Get to the gate, and they're like, yeah, you don't have your boarding passes. I'm like, what do you mean I don't have my boarding passes? We got there, Spirit Airlines was fucking closed. So we couldn't, oh. they didn't have the automatic kiosk. Oh, They didn't have the automatic kiosk to print your thing glorious. on. Oh, so you get there, I'm like, dude, how am I supposed to get a boarding pass? When I can't closed. check in. Someone has to do something about this. My flight is, I'm here. The flight's leaving and it's not my fault that this is closed, closed right. right? So finally, like, you know, the flight's gone. I'm like, this is bullshit. This is such, yeah. such And they're like, oh no, we called you. I'm like, f*** you, you called me. You didn't call anybody. I stood right there, waited for you. Then I had to buy tickets again Naturally. for the next day. Naturally. Naturally. I got half of it credited back, but then Spirit Airlines wanted to give me shit. And honestly, f*** Spirit Airlines. You know what? They're Products horrible. that suck, you suck, Spirit Airlines. They're you horrible. are terrible. They are Spend horrible. $100 extra and go somewhere else. And honestly, whatever, be a low cost carrier, charge for your extra things, fine. But your service sucks. So much d Ooh. My cousin, she sat there, we were going to Vegas, and she was like, how much did you pay for your plane tickets to Vegas? I forgot what it was, and she was like, I only paid $45, I'm flying Spirit. And yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> By the time she showed up, so it was $45 for a ticket, then it was another like $80 just for her seat, then it was another $60 for her bag, each way, and I'm like. Oh, so you spent 500. And I'm like, so how much did you spend round trip? And she's like, oh, it was close to like 450 round trip. I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? And she's like, well, they suckered me in on oh the flight round trip is 50 bucks yeah and i'm like yeah but then you have to pay for your seat you have to pay for your baggage to be on the thing you have to pay for just air to breathe F all that yeah you know what and, and i get capitalism but at what point does it become so ridiculous and the problem is you're suckered like you don't have that many options you're screwed right. it's almost you're monopolized into this and stop situation. making can seat smaller, damn it. Oh, we can fit yeah. another row in. Yeah. yeah. That means another X yeah. amount of revenue. Let's do it. No. Customer satisfaction down? Yeah. Profits? I don't know, probably up. It sucks. When I flew to Washington last, the you're, last you're time. You're a pretty small guy, so you're yeah, getting Yeah, I, I felt horrible, right? Because all of a sudden, I had the window seat, and so I'm sitting there on the way back from Washington, and I got there early, and I get boarded, and all of a sudden, this couple shows up next to me, and naturally, the husband does the husband thing where he sticks his wife in the middle. Nah. He doesn't want to sit next to me, right? <laughs> so, honey, I need to let now, yeah, so now I'm sitting there hunched over like this, and right when she walked in, I go, I'm just going to give you a heads up. 
my bad right now. Like, I apologize. We ended up getting bombed together on there because he, <laughs> she thought it was hilarious. But it was just, he was like, when did you book this thing? I'm like, I booked it a while back. And he's like, did you ask for the aisle? I said, I asked for the aisle. And he was like, that sucks. And I'm like, look, man, you're smaller than I am. Why don't you do the right thing and just fucking switch with me? And he was like, I really need the leg room, but uh, I'll buy you drinks. And I was like, sold. <laughs> I'll sit here doing I'll take yeah, upgrade. I'm good with that. Like when we flew back from our honeymoon from uh, the Dominican, I had the, the window seat from the Dominican to Panama, which is like five hours. Spirit? It, no, it wasn't Spirit. It Whatever, was, Air Mexico or one of those. It was those one of those. Caribbean Air. Yeah, where I'm like, they built the seats off of like. <laughs> this 1976 uh, reupholstered seat. Dude. Uh, Oh man, so Peru again, on the way, one of the flights back, I had ride up to talking to this kid from Florida that was sitting next to me and I had bought a bottle of wine at Duty Free. So, you know, I bought wine from the place and they're like, oh, we're out. I'm like, huh. And of course I'm probably, you know, four or five in at this time. I'm like, hmm, hmm. So I grabbed the Duty Free bottle. Yeah. Cracked it open, popped the cap, and started pouring myself duty free bottles. Yeah. And apparently you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, that's that's uh frowned upon. That's right. In the airplane. <laughs> frowned upon and then and then the <laughs> stewardess had to really quickly let me know or the stewardess, stewarded it. Flight tenant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> come over and they're like, uh, by the way, we've informed the captain that you're drinking your duty free bottle or whatever they said to me, but I'm like, that's great, thanks. Would you like some? Yeah. <laughs> and we pounded Maybe. that, we got hammered and it was a red eye and they were not too happy. Uh, there's been many red eyes that I've literally just gotten hammered with people and the the next, you know, when we get off the flight, the, the person in front of me turns around like, thanks a lot. I'm like, you're welcome. What do I do? Yeah. Like, you kept me up all night and like... When I used to fly the football team, uh, there's a lot of people who chewed tobacco, including myself at that point. And we weren't allowed to show up with empty water bottles. That was against regulations. Team rules? No, that was against flight rules. Oh, that airline. Then you couldn't do the bottle. No. So, but they made the mistake of leaving the little puke bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all of a sudden you get 30 dudes on the team spitting in puke bags and you just fold the little tabs over and here someone else is going to clean this up have a great trip <laughs> i feel bad for some of those flight cleanup people man whoa i've flown so many times like we had one coach who uh the conditioning nazi right if you did anything wrong he was the one who was gonna make you run he screwed up one time and said it out loud before we got into the airport that he was petrified of flying yeah <laughs> so i went up to the cash to the register at that point uh, what uh seat is coach so-and-so sitting in oh 4f yeah can i sit in a uh, 4e <laughs> <laughs> and so then the whole time it was, did you hear that coach? I, I've been on a plane since I was five. I've never heard a noise like, Sh -sh Jake, shut up. Coach, what was that? Did you, Jake, shut up. <laughs> that lasted for like four or five uh, flights and then the head team. coach would stand there. And Jake, what are you doing? I'm gonna change my, no, you're not. You're not changing your seat. You're not sitting there. Come on, coaches, let me just, <laughs> Jake, <laughs> you're sitting where you're sitting. Get in the back, dude. Uh, so my most recent red eye flight, which by the way, after this, I don't think I can fly. Well, Maybe, but not. Same thing, I had to take Spirit and I was flying to Austin. Yeah, and, and same thing, it was like $17. So, yeah. like some super ridiculous it's amazing. low rate. I'm like, well, shit, I can't pass that up. And guess what? Yeah, I should have fucking passed it up, right? So they put me in the row that was, you know how they have the front cabin and then they have the, oh, wall? the wall? Yeah. Okay, so they put me in the wall and maybe it wasn't Spirit. Maybe it was Delta or maybe it was somebody, American Airlines. I think I was on American. And I was like, oh, okay. And you know, they got the stupid wall in there, but you get a little bit more extra rug room. I'm like, okay, that might be good, fine. Okay, I can deal with that. And then of course at the gym, what do we do that day? Heavy squats. <laughs> I'm like, mother yeah. And I'm like, and I remember going to the gym that day and going like, man, I don't know if I should do these. I'm going to be on this red eye and I'm in here and, you know, I need to really be able to stretch my legs out after this because otherwise my knees and this just hurts. It's really not more leg room. No, it's not. That's the point. You have more leg room when you can stick, you your, stick feet your feet under. underneath. I had to stay. I literally, I didn't sleep the entire night. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I pretty much was standing, trying to stretch out the entire, oh, it was the most, actually that was probably the most terrible flight I've ever yeah. been on. Just from a pain comfort standpoint, yeah. terrible. Yeah, I know it. So listen, back to it, Spirit, you suck. Uh, American Airlines, you're pretty sh too, but you're actually better than Spirit, so I won't talk too much crap. Except, you know what really sucks? If you had to go to the American Airlines extra terminal at Los Angeles, where you have to get on a bus and they take you to this other place. No, I haven't done that. Okay, well that one's terrible. So, American Airlines has rebuilt their terminal at LAX. So they have an extra one. Well, they have number five, right? It's all new, and you, get all, you go in there and they have all this stuff. But then they have like this little shithole terminal that you have to walk through the nice terminal, you go downstairs and get on a bus, and then they take you over to this other area that's a terminal. Oh, sweet. And guess what? It has one little snack shop with only to-go beers, and that's it. Like, you're pretty can much... Can you buy, like, a six-pack? No. Well, <laughs> one by one at $12 a piece, you can. Oh, sure. yeah, those are great. But my point is, it's like... And then the worst part about it is you have to walk, and it is a... It's a haul, man. Like, if you're late for a flight, you're and you're getting... You're, you're fucking done. Yeah. You might as well get rescheduled, so... There you go, guys. Products that suck. Spirit Airlines. Blah. Yeah, they're horrible. 